Howdy folks, Brother Jim reporting here. The deep state is doing community service for restitution of their crimes. Bill Barr. New Attorney General Bill Barr assembles team to probe FBI actions taken in Trump-Russia investigation during 2016 election. U.S. Attorney General Bill Barr assembled a team to investigate decisions made by Obama's corrupt FBI and DOJ, including actions taken during the investigation of Trump's campaign going back to the summer of 2016, before he was elected, according to a source who spoke to Bloomberg. It appears A.G. Barr is investigating allegations made by Republican lawmakers for over two years that the Trump-Russia investigation was corrupt from the beginning with anti-Trump FBI and DOJ officials who weaponized the agencies to target a political opponent. Quote, I am reviewing the conduct of the uh, investigation and trying to get my arms around all the aspects of the counterintelligence investigation that was conducted during the summer of 2016, Barr told the House Appropriations Committee earlier Tuesday. And he's already admitted that they ha that the Trump administration has been spied on. That's the big bomb I just reported. Bill Barr's internal investigation by the Justice Department is separate from the Inspector General's probe. Barr told Representative Robert Adderholt uh, of Alabama that Inspector General Horowitz is investigating the FISA abuse during the Obama administration to spy on Trump. Wow. The Attorney General said the report will be completed in May or June. Adderholt on Tuesday also asked Bill Barr if his department was investigating how DOJ and FBI officials used a salacious and unverified dossier as a predicate for a FISA order on a U.S. citizen violating our Fourth Amendment. And Barr will also be investigating the criminal probe that corrupt FBI agents opened into former Attorney General Jeff Sessions in 2017 for his contacts with Russian Ambassador Kislyak when he was a, a senator. Sessions did nothing wrong, but he recused himself like a coward in March of 2017 after he was pressured to step down from his post. Now, let's revisit Attorney General Jeff Sessions for a moment here. Now, there is a lot of speculation saying that Attorney General Jeff Sessions and James Mad Dog Mattis and other generals, and uh, there are a few others, are the ones that are heading up the Gitmo trials and prosecute prosecution onto trial and executions, okay? There's a lot of speculation, and, and, and David Zublick also reported that that was a ruse that what Attorney General Jeff Sessions did. Now, let's just meditate on that for a second. Would it be possible that when Donald Trump saw that they would not let him be president lawfully and they tried to start with this Russian dossier, could it be possible and they were attacking all of his people like Jeff Sessions, Attorney General at the time, could it be possible when Trump was planning the Gitmo renovations and tr and also further proceedings on the Gitmo trials that he figured, well, why don't you just let them bury themselves in more evidence and more crimes while we prepare and we'll play along like they're winning so that they will end up doing far worse things of treason and sedition and violating the RICO Act of racketeering. And it will be much easier. I'm just saying, think about it for a second, folks. Senate Judiciary Chairman Lindsey Graham, who is another flipper, previously called on Bill Barr to appoint a new special counsel to investigate Russia Gate. Again, proving my theory. Here we go, Lindsey Graham flipping. Bill Barr is a flipper too. Best friends with Robert Mueller. Once we put the Mueller report to bed, once Barr comes to the committee and takes questions about his findings and his actions, and we get to see the Mueller report consistent with law, then we are going to turn to finding out how this got off the rails, Graham said in a couple weeks ago in a presser. Very interesting because nasty Nancy Pelosi, who is really shaking in her boots, is, is saying that Bill Barr has gone off the rails. That's one of her latest things that she has said. 
Barr is scheduled to appear before the Senate Judiciary Committee for a hearing on May 1st. According to previous reports, Attorney General Bill Barr was reportedly against the idea of special counsel to investigate Russiagate and the coup plotters. This report by Bloomberg and Barr's comments to the House panel earlier Tuesday appear to confirm reports he wants to spearhead the investigation with his own team. Hmm. And Bill Barr's team seems to be A-OK in my eyes so far. Better than I expected by far. And Pentagon awards one billion to build Trump border wall. Another win, win, win. Seven hundred and eighty-nine million to Galveston Company. The Pentagon notified Congress in March. It authorized the transfer of $1 billion to begin new border wall construction. CNN obtained a Pentagon budget notification that was sent to Capitol Hill that showed up to $1 billion will go toward building 57 miles of border wall. On Tuesday, the Pentagon announced it awarded nearly mm, billion and something billion in contracts to President Trump's border wall. Here is the statement released today by the Pentagon. Contracts for April 9, 2019. Army, SL's, SCO Limited, Galveston, Texas, was awarded a $789 million firm fixed price contract for border replacement wall construction. Nine bids were solicited with six bids received. Work will per be performed in Santa Teresa, New Mexico with an estimated completion date of October 1st, 2020. Fiscal 2019 operations and maintenance. Army funds in the amount of $389 million were obligated at the time of, of the award. U.S. Army Corps of Engineers, Albuquerque, New Mexico is the contract contracting activity. Bernard Construction Incorporated, Bozeman, Montana, was awarded a $187 million firm fixed price contract for design, bid, build, construction project for primary pedestrian wall replacement. Four bids were solicited with three bids received. Work will be performed at Guma, Arizona, with an estimated completion date of September 30, 2020. Fiscal 2019 operations and maintenance, Army funds in the amount of $93 million were obligated at the time of the award. U.S. Army Corps of Engineers, Los Angeles, California, is the contracting activity. The Dutra Group, San Rafael, California, was awarded a $10 million firm fixed price contract for rental of Hopper Dredge with attended plant and operators for maintenance dredging in Alabama, Mississippi, and Florida. Bids were solicited via the internet with two received. Work locations and funding will be determined with each order with an estimated completion date of June 9th, 2020, U.S. Army Corps of Engineers, Mobile, Alabama. Just like, all right, so we go to God's word. Now, just to let you know for your Bible teaching this morning, many people don't understand who the fifth angel in Revelation 9 are. And the fifth angel sounded, and I saw a star fall from heaven onto the earth, and to him was given the key of the bottomless pit. Now, you need to understand the fifth angel is a righteous angel from God. That is the fifth trumpet. Okay? That is the fifth trumpet of wrath. There's seven trump trumpets of wrath. Okay? But then it says, And I saw a star fall from heaven onto the earth, and to him was given the key of the bottomless pit. Well, if we go to Revelation 19, the stars that were in Jesus' hands are angels. So it is a fact that John the Apostle is inspired by God to write that in the book of Revelation, we cannot deny stars are angels. Now, it's not that every single time an angel is called a star in this book, but they are referred to as stars, okay? Now, so we go back to this area so we know that the fifth angel trumpet of wrath of God is sounded, but we also see a star or an angel falling out of heaven. And it says, and to him was given the key to the bottomless pit. Well, does the kind of star that we look at in the a falling star coming that we see in our night sky, does it have a male gender? No, it doesn't. No, no such thing, right? So obviously, I am right, this is an angel because it's a male angel. And if you didn't know it, all angels in the Bible are male. 
And Jesus says, in the resurrection, we shall be like the angels. Deal with it, folks. We shall all be changed. And he opened the bottomless pit, and there arose a smoke out of the pit, as the smoke of a great furnace, and the sun and the air were darkened by reason of the smoke of the pit. Oh, look at the sun and air were darkened. Could that be a match with Acts chapter 2 that was prophesied by Joel? It says right here. Uh, and I will show wonders in heaven above and signs in the earth beneath blood fire and vapor of smoke and the sun shall be turned into darkness and the moon into blood before that great and notable day of the Lord come well after studying for many years I realized that the day of the Lord starts right the day of the Lord as Paul the Apostle said starts with Jesus coming as a thief in the night he's as a thief he's not the thief okay you see, so when this is a, but there's many times in that the word of God describes the day of the Lord. It's also described in 2 Peter 3, 10 and 12 as the earth will burn up in fervent heat. Well, that's the end of the day of the Lord. And also there's a, so the start of this period is the thousand seven years of the great tribulation. It starts as soon as the rapture starts and then for a thousand years that's the day of the Lord a thousand seven plus years so there's also times when the day of the Lord is talking about when Jesus comes at the second coming yes that happens in that period you see so but the day of the Lord commences with Jesus coming as a thief in the night to steal his bride that it's not broken up because the good man of the house, if he was good, his house would not be suffered to be broken up, as Matthew 24 says. And yes, that is referring to the rapture in Matthew 24. I think it's around the 40th verse. Okay, so here we have this sun is, shall be turned into darkness and a moon into blood. Now, this was also coming back from the prophet Joel in chapter 2 of Joel chapter 2 of the Old Testament you see Peter is telling you right there you see now the only one thing is is that he's talking about there's two different prophecies here he says for these are not drunken people the 12 apostles or 11 actually at the day of Pentecost as ye suppose, seeing it is the third day of the hour, because they're speaking in tongues. So then he continues, and it shall come to pass in the last days, saith God, I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh and your sons and your daughters. What last days is he talking about? He's talking about the last days of the kingdom of heaven where Jesus came and left earth. The beginning of the church age, you see? Then it says, and on my servants and on my handmaids, I will pour out in those days of my spirit and they shall prophesy. And they do. That's not a future. Then it says, and I will show wonders in heaven above and signs in the earth beneath blood, fire and vapor of smoke. Now, when Jesus died, there was a lot of that as well at Golgotha. Now, then it says the sun shall be turned into darkness and the moon into blood before that great and notable day of the Lord. That is separate. That's separate. You notice it says before that great and terrible notable day of the Lord come. You see. So when it says, and it shall come to pass that whoever shall call on the name of the Lord shall be saved. That's talking about the great tribulation. There is a division here. Study to show thyself approved unto God, a workman that needeth not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. We're going to be showing more on this day, on this angel, in the next uh, video.
Thank you for listening. Let me be serious with you. I would rather that you donate to my ministry directly. I cannot survive financially to keep this ministry and new service going without your help. And we all know their plans to shut me down again. But many of you would like to receive a gift or product as a token of my appreciation. And I don't blame you. Isn't it about time Uncle Sam started paying you instead of you paying him? It is about time. The federal government pays you your rent check. The government rents out thousands of buildings instead of buying them every year. This is all funded by the current $11.1 billion building fund in our budget. Get your free federal rent check today sign up with the federal millionaire information here down below become a shareholder to receive federal rent checks for life by making a one-time investment as a shareholder an irs ruling declares this to be totally legal this is no joke no scam and been for many years the longer your name is on the distribution list, the larger your federal rent check grows. As inflation rises along with real estate, the government pays you more every year. Starting out as little as $1,800 a month would be your rent check. Wouldn't that be nice to receive every month a rent check like that? The federal government continues to raise your income as inflation rises. This puts an end to retiring with a fixed income that leaves you going broke as you get older. This will put a major dent in those people who hate their home taxes is going up every year, wouldn't it? And folks, the price for this valuable information will cost you only $39 a year or $79 for a two-year membership. Sign up today.